gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel That channel is Del Chanel's 40s World And I wanna say thank you, thank you for all your support Thank you for all your love and all the times you are sharing and liking and subscribing to my channel and continue to do so. Thank you. And um, continue to um, subscribe, tell people about my channel, meaning share my videos. And let's get on into this must-see video brought to you by Media Takeout on my way of delivering it to you on my channel, Deb Chanel's 40s World. Now, Media Takeout is out there doing it again. Their journalist is London. We're going to say the last name is A because we don't want to mess up nobody's name. This story was brought out on November the 11th. Okay, I'm a little late, but better late than never. Okay, but the title of the article uh, from Mr. London, it gives us Real Housewives of Atlanta's cast left divided following Portia Williams and Eva Marcel's fight. Yes, the ladies are over there fighting verbally on the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast. Okay. We go into the article itself. It says the Real Housewives of Atlanta housewives are reportedly divided following the epic fallout between Portia Williams and Eva Marcel. The Eva and Portia feud has divided the Atlanta ladies. An insider close to the cast told Hollywood Life, yes, and you know it ain't never Bravo dropping their own tea to make their um, new episodes that are coming up for season 12 more salacious, more hot, and more... Uh, rating shooting through the roof, but I'm here for it. I'm here for all that mindless drama. Okay, that was me, not in this article. Going back to the article, it says if Portia Kenya Moore and Tanya Sams versus Cynthia Bailey, Eva, and Nene Leakes with Candy Burris in the middle. <laughs> Now, have, have I, I have seen things transpire, and I don't think Candy's on nobody's side at this time, but if she really had to lean on a side, it would be with Portia and Kenya and Tanya Sams. Now, I don't know what Cynthia Bailey fits in all of this, because she's looking like piss poor right now, a piss poor adult. So, we're going to take her out the equation. Eva, hmm. I don't even think Nene would really want to side with you. Now, don't get me wrong. She ain't trying to side with any side that Kenya Moore is on anyway. Okay? She could forgive Porsche. I think they some somewhat sort of made up, but it's still left out. She don't have no problems with Tanya Sams, but she ain't really on the forgiving end of forgiving Cynthia Bailey. Uh, totally, in totality is what I'm saying. Okay, so Nene can stand alone. <laughs> so we're going to put Nene in her own little box. We're going to put Candy just on the side. She ain't in the middle. She's going to be on Kenya, Portia, and Tanya's side. So technically, we got Eva standing out there on her own. Do I think she can survive on her own? Hell no. She's going to quiver, shake, and fall down sooner rather than later. But let's get back on into this article. It said the tension started around the time of Kenya's Barbie-themed birthday party for her daughter, Brooklyn. Eva didn't bring her two older kids, Marley and Michael Jr., to the party because she wasn't sure what the vibe would be. Now, everybody's all speculating on what the vibe that Eva was talking about because Kenya ain't never had no problem with offending kids. We never put that on her. It's never been her M.O. So we don't understand where Eva is coming with this nonsense. Because even if she had to go out of town shortly after the little birthday party, she could have had her nanny, babysitter, whoever you, she's naming to take care of her child. They could have came accompanied her or, or arrived shortly after her. Or hell, before her, to have the kids there, especially Marley. Because, you know, it seemed like they were having a wonderful time, these other little older kids, much older than Brooklyn and, and uh, Portia's baby PJ. So she would have had somebody there to play with, Marley. Okay? But she's making all these other excuses. She was in school. She didn't want to take out of school. She didn't want to do this. She didn't want to do that. But she, she, she brought her little behind up in there, okay, trying to eat and carry on and get her filming time so she can get that revenue paid, that paycheck uh, deposit in her account, okay, child, unless she was getting a paper check, and you know she behind times that she's trying to get a paper check, deposit that stuff in my account, okay, let me check it on my phone, let me check it on my computer, I want to see if the funds are available, okay, but she probably still get a paper check and go to the 
check cash and play and, and get it uh <laughs> cash okay i'm just being petty i'm just being petty because she don't rub me the wrong way trying to include uh innocent kids into a situation that's grown and it's just how the the delivery came out of her mouth or why she didn't bring her kids oh i gotta go out of town oh i gotta go do this I, well honey that's what nannies are there for you could have brought the kid we can't we ain't talking about the little infant one but you could have bought the two oldest ones or you could have bought marley since it was a girl's theme you had no excuse evil you just piss poison adult but anyway going back to the um article it said um of course, Kenya took offense. I would, too, if I was Kenya or a human being. It didn't even have to be whether she liked it, Kenya or whatever. She extended her and Olive Branch, you know, because she Kenya really didn't know anything about her, didn't really care. But she's going to make it a point, I'm sure, the rest of the episodes in season 12 to let Eva know who she is and what she represents. Okay, every chance she get, I'm sure she's going to be filming something salacious that's going to be, ooh, a, a definite, a definitely shade against Eva. So let's watch. We'll watch our video for every blow by blow by blow. Okay. But anyway, uh, going back to the article, it said Portia also did not take kindly to Eva's actions and shaded her on social media. And I'm like, I know that's right, Portia, because you even suggested. I'm guessing allegedly. I don't know, but I'm just assuming that you said while you were out on maternity leave. Eva will be a good replacement for you until you can come back after maternity leave. So I'm sure you solidified that job for her, just like I'm sure uh, things that went down when Claudia Jordan had came over from not being on Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore, and she slid into Dish Nation. But the public, the fans, the viewers, they didn't care for her, and so she had to go on by her merry way, which it seems like that's the same door Miss Evil, Marcel is going to have to exit out of because, you know, Portia is a household name with Real Housewives of Atlanta and she's making her way over that dish nation trying to do that thing too. So, it, you know, you can't help but love Portia. She just, you know, she's flighty at sometimes, but she's growing, she's maturing, and she's, you know, getting into her own way of thinking and moving and shaking. So I'm very proud of Portia. But even myself, mm -mm, no ma'am, no God, mm -mm, honey, you don't dog your own race and kind just to, uh, what do you call it, uh, slide into another way of living and thinking and being around other people of lighter skin or damn night like just damn white okay i don't know why you think that's the better choice to be in i, I don't understand either you know you, you've been all the way around the world and i yeah yeah and i found my baby you know what i'm saying you've been all around the world Eva, okay same song so why are you acting ignorant and indignant with your own plight as a, a black female? I don't understand, girl. I ain't going to take too much time on you anymore. But let me move on. It says Portia threw shade at Eva on social media because of a clip from the second episode that she saw the insider continue. She was bent out of shape because she saw Eva explain her reasoning or reason for not bringing her kids to Kenya's party and felt that Eva told two different stories, which she did. I called them. I called them. Uh, how are y'all feeling about the new season of the show so far? That's what they're giving us. So how do y'all feel about it, y'all? How do y'all feel Eva is going around here shading her own race? Forget about Portia and Kenya, okay? That's not even the real idea. That's not the scoop. That's not the tea right now. But just her going around shading her own race. Now, that's a hot mess right there. Let's that's, that's just take her black card all together. She, we don't even know what she exists or, or what she calls herself or claim to fame, who she is. But she has definitely talked in a tone of, you know, colorism. She has talked the tone and discriminated against women and women of color. And then she don't even like her race. Because this is, I mean, it ain't really allegedly. She's just showing and telling you what she likes, how she gets down, and she's breaking it up. And when too many people are on her behind, then she want to fall back. Like Candy Burr said on season uh, 12, episode two that Eva's going to be backtracking so she's kind of throwing us little hints and there was to come on this season of uh, Housewives of Atlanta so we need to watch and be making notes mental notes as well as paper notes so who are the ones that are content creators we can be on the, the uh, book about it we can be on point about it because we just go back and reference season 12 episode two when candy was breaking down and she's has a little platform on youtube too 
uh, called Speak On. So y'all go over there and represent Tell Del Chanel's uh, footage where I brought y'all over there, okay? If your case y'all didn't know, but I know y'all up to date. Y'all on everybody's social media platform but that's uh, housing Real Housewives of Atlanta with content. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all luck. I be on it too. I be on it, doggone it. I be on it. Just let's put it like that, okay? So y'all go and get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this particular uh thing going on with the division of the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast. Hell, by the time they need to show her behind back up, it ain't going to be too many people to get on. <laughs> There ain't gonna be too many people for Nitty to go at it, but you know we always just like her going at it with Kenya Moore, okay? Because can't nobody do it better than Kenya Moore and Nene Leaks when it comes to getting into the behinds, okay? Getting people together, getting them straight, all right? Love them too. But like I said, I don't know. I'm putting Eva and Cynthia. I'm putting them on the couch. Just let them look pretty. Don't say that. Put a little tape over their mouth or something. We don't want them to say nothing. Okay, because they ain't talking about nothing. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You got to have something if you want to be with me. Yes, that's true facts right there, okay? True facts and good arithmetic. And them two, they coming up negative. <laughs> they ain't even in the positive range. They coming up negative zero, okay? But that's all I have for this video. Um, if you want to check it out for yourself, go on over there to Media Takeout News, put in Real Housewives of Atlanta, cast, uh, cast Left Divided, and it'll show pop up, and you'll get what I try to explain to you on my platform, okay? But if you just have to be one of those check your facts, check your eyes, dot your eyes, cross your T's type of person, that's where the, uh, the story derived from that I got it for, from and put it on my platform, but peace and blessings to you all, and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.